What's up disciples Zane here and welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show you guys how to level up your goldsmith from 60 to 70 so as all the other videos I recommend before you do any crafting or love quests go to your um, guild master and do the level 60 job quest first they'll give you your manuals and some crystals to start you off after that is done you go to your challenge log and make sure you do that for the your goldsmith if you haven't done it already if you have done it already just go ahead and pass this over and go straight to your grand company turn-ins for just leave it to me make sure you do two non crafting love quests so you can put this to your crafting class after that your grand company turn-ins Make sure you pass them in high quality to get double the experience. And after a start, you get triple if you pass them in high quality. So always make sure you pass them in high quality. So after all that is all said and done, next thing you want to do is make everything in your list. Because remember, every time you make it, make it for the first time, you get an extra bonus in experience. But you'll be doing that on your way to 70 anyway. So after you did all those things you're going to come to Kogane and start doing your lab quests now with goldsmith it's going to be a little bit difficult because some of the items for these goldsmith labs require the items that come from time nodes the raw trifon star spinel the azurite all come from time nodes that's what makes this a little bit tricky At level 60, we have Wants and Needles, which is the Bone Bombfish Needle. So see, Bombfish Needles are actually quite easy to make. All you need is a level 60 Miner, your Goldsmith, a Carpenter, and a Battle Class. Bombfish Spines can be got from the Bombs fish in the ruby sea the beach number pretty much outside of the cash room orients and the fringes uh the copper nickel nuggets goldsmith and a stripper stone which is for minor out in the stripper stripper hills so it's very easy to make so that is the repeatable quest um the other ones like i said one ring circus requires the uh, Trifon and then the other one is their earrings also needs Trifon as well So that's why wants and needles is your best bet because you can farm those materials easy without waiting for the right time At level 62 It's called uh, the quest is going to be called if I had a copper nickel for every time Luckily for us these require copper nickel ingots Is that much to be said because those are the best things to pass in and they're quite easy to make so let me go ahead and show you all right so pretty much you need one copper nickel nugget and copper nickel ore and that's pretty much as easy as it as it's going to get At level 64, we have Hair Raising Action. This is the repeatable quest, and you'll need to pass in a Durium Hairpin of Maiming. These require two Durium Nuggets, a High Steel Ingot, a Karn um, Stone, which is basically from Heavensward. And a grade one race suite of strength. You also can do the Dizo horn needles, which require uh, less hard to get materials. If you have done the story first, which I hope you did, the Dizo horns can be caught, um, get gotten from the beasts out in the Azim Step, right next to the reunion. Pine lumber. Easy to just get over the botanist and carpenter. Durium nuggets easily you can be made with a goldsmith and a slate whetstone easily be made with the gold uh, goldsmith, I believe. 
So materials are a lot easier to get than these ones since you don't have to go to get a lot of these with botanists. This one's to go back to Heaven's Ward. And this one you're gonna have to level up a blacksmith or armor to make. So that's the repeatable quest, but I would highly recommend doing the Dizo Horn Needle. At level 66, you want to start adding in your collectibles, but at that level, you're going to be needing the time node uh, materials, Azurite and Star Spittle. So it's up to you. Do you want to continue doing love quests or do you want to start adding in collectibles? It's an entirely up to you, but if you're low on love quests and you don't want to use all, I would probably recommend doing collectibles. But at level 66, it's going to be ringing the new. For this one, again, it, the raw as a right, you're going to be needing anyway, so at the way, at level 66, you're kind of in a tough spot. The Azerite ring offending, easy, you know, all you need is Azerite, Durham Ingot, and a Grade 1 Raceway of Vitality. Again, all botanist items can get the, get this. Um, Durham Ingots are already making them in the Azerite, all you need is to wait 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. to get the Azerites. And at level 68, we have Choker in the Clutch. Now, I would highly recommend doing Speak Softly and Carry a Metal Rod because the Palladium Rod requires less strenuous materials. A Palladium Nugget, a Malladium Ingot, Durium Nugget, and a Beetle Glue. As for the Choker, you are going to be needing The mirrored leather, which honestly is a pain in the ass to get because you have to go out in the Asm step, kill the mammoths, um, pretty much gather the Persimian fruit, and then use Alchemist to get the tanning agent, and that's just too much of a headache. So that's why I would go with the rod, because all you need is items that is actually easy to make. So at level 68. I would go with the Paladium Rod over the Choker because who wants to do the Choker three times in a row? Not me, that's for sure. So guys, like I said, Goldsmith is a little tricky because a lot of the materials are time nodes. So, the choice is up to you. But pretty much that is how you level up Goldsmith from 60 to 70. In my opinion, I love Goldsmith. I always did because it combined with minor, which is my favorite gathering class. So for me, it was actually a pretty fun time. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. I will do my best to answer them. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new for more Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood content. So until next time, guys, may you forever walk in the light of Lord Bahama. Take care, guys, and happy crafting.